Welcome. All right, so what I have here is a 5 sevenths, uh, comma 3 eighths, time, or not times, but and negative 1 half and 2 thirds. And what we want to do is we want to determine the slope. Um, so we got to make sure we understand the slope formula, which I left up here, which says m, which we represent as a slope, is equal to the change in y, y2 minus y1, divided by the change in x, which is x2 over x1. So therefore, I need to determine well, what are my x1 and my y1, x2, y2 in this problem. And I can just go ahead and pick value. We know that they're both x, y, right? And therefore, determine all to say these are 1s and these are 2s. But if you want to write these as the 2s and those as x1, y1, that's fine as well. It doesn't really matter because you're finding the change between them. So now, all I'm simply going to do is plug them into my formula. So I'll say y2, which is 2 thirds minus 3 eighths divided by negative 1 half minus 5 sevenths. Now, the fun part about this problem is we do not have common denominators. Therefore, I need to find common denominators for each problem. Now, a lot of times when I'm finding common denominators, I like to write that out there. So I look at 3 and 8, and I say, what's the least common denominator of 3 and 8? So I'll say LCD. So what is the smallest number that both 3 and 8 divide into? Well, that number is 24. Then I say, what is the LCD of 2 and 7, the least common denominator? or the smallest multiple that both those numbers divide into, and that's equal to 14. Therefore, to get 3 to be 24, I need to multiply by 8. But whatever I do in my denominator, I have to make sure I do in my, uh, multiply in my numerator to keep equivalent fractions. Then over here, I'll need to multiply by 3 over 3, as that's going to make uh, my denominator here 24. To get 14, I need to multiply by 7 on the top and bottom. I guess I can use parentheses here. That would probably be easier. And then over here, I have to multiply by 2 over 2. All right, so let's multiply these across. And then we kind of see what our um, problem is again. I'm going to use this marker. All right, so when I multiply everything across, I have 16 over 24 minus 9 over 24 divided by negative 7 over 14 minus 10 over 14. So by multiplying to get my common denominators, you can see now I can add, I can uh, subtract these directly across and keeping my denominators. So therefore, 16 minus uh, 9 is going to be uh, 7. And then here, this is a uh, negative 7 minus 10. So that's going to be a negative 17 over 14. All right. So now, to simplify this, I need to do, so now I have a fraction divided by a fraction, which again, when we're dividing fractions, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by my reciprocal on the top and on the bottom. And what happens with that is that now deletes into there. And then I can simplify this, and I say, all right, I can both, uh, let's see, divide those by 2. So therefore, that becomes 12. Now eh, let's do a different marker different color. So I'm going to simplify that. So I can say, so I'm mul I need to multiply these, because those multiply into 1. Now I need to multiply these across. And I can multiply them across, but it's always helpful to simplify it first. So you can see the 14 and 24, those have a common denominator of 2 that I can factor out. When factoring out a 2, I get 12. And factor out a 2 here, I get uh, um, da, 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 7. So now I'm multiplying them across. I get 7 times 7 or 7 times negative 7, which is going to be a negative 49. And then 12 times 17, I could probably think about it in my head. I might make a mistake, and it might take me a second. So let's just multiply it in the calculator. And that's 204. Then, um, again, I could also spend time seeing if I want to do that. See if I can reduce that. Um, 49 divided by 204. And that is going to be it in its simplest form. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the slope for those two points. Thanks.